This is N7JFP. Today we're going to be using our FT897 to get on 20 meters and see if there's any FT8 users. First we're going to check the FT897 for a couple of things. One of them is make sure that our squelch and RF is set to RF gain. Then we want to go to power out. We're going to set it for 20. We'll adjust the signal length for 5 later. And we want to go down and check uh, 38. Digital mode, make sure it's set for user upper. And then we'll check 19. Thirty-eight four hundred. That will be our cat rate. That's about it. Now we're going to make sure the antenna tuner is set for ten watts out. Function L up will be a hundred. And now it's set for ten. So that's good. Now that we got the FT897 running, let's load up our software. First we want to check, make sure our clock is being set up. We need to start Ham Radio Deluxe. And I have it set to automatically kick in the uh, logbook. Okay, frequencies is displayed. I'm going to minimize that and this one. Then we're going to start WSJT. Well, let's look at our uh, picture up here. Here's what we're going for. We're going to have two instances of WSJT. One will be a monitor and one is going to be used to transmit with. We're going to load up Grid Tracker. It uses a different UDV port than JT Alert. So we've got these two going. We just need to bring up the first instant of WSJT. Make sure the settings and we do a deluxe rear data and then audio microphone speaker and reporting is right here 2237. That's I believe to be the JT alert contact point. We're going to start JT alert. Starting the second instance of WSJT. Did that by modifying California. The start sequence right here. We added on rig dash name is equal to monitor. It creates a different folder and then runs separate. So we'll start the next one. Have it set so it starts in a separate 
monitor. So now we have monitor. California. And this one says FT897. And if we check the file settings under reporting, I have it changed to 2238. This one is 2237. Both on FT8, both on 20 meters. This one says split. California. Let's fix that. Okay. And we don't need this graph. We're going to start grid tracker. Set it to 20 meters, 58. And right here we have to set 2238, and it says receiving from the monitor. California. So we don't need this up. We're sitting on a dummy load right now, so we can do a tune and make sure it's all working. We'll do a CQ to our dummy load. First, let's do the tune. There we go. Okay, we adjust the signal length for about 5 watts out. No ALC marks. Press F5 with this menu that tells us to set the transmit frequency. Shift click. Shift click sets transmit. Click sets receive. Control click locks them together when you click it. So one thing we can do on our graph over here, we can specify that we're calling a certain state. We can do that down here in our general message. We could say North Dakota. So we're going to send out a this CQ. So we got CQ North Dakota. Over here it will highlight North Dakota. Gives a nice graphic display of what just happened. Of course I could say enable. Now we've got CQTX. We should light up down here. One click on the erase clears this out here. Here we have Texas lit up. On the graph, when you do a shift, you're moving the receive frequency. If you do a shift click, you're moving the transmit. And when you do a control click, you're going to be moving transmit and receive. 
California. So we could set the transmit, which is a shift, put it out here on 2000, and then go over and listen to somebody on 1000, but the transmitting on 2000. That's where the split comes in. Anyway, we'll erase this. We're on dummy load and we're receiving signals. California. Anyway, our next step would be to send a CQ out. I don't see anybody though, but we will if we turn on the antenna. We're running into a delta loop. 15 feet off the ground horizontal. Vermont, Michigan, California. This here's called Grid Tracker. It lights up the grid. Gives you a visual of what's going on. California, this guy is Minnesota, Maine, Tennessee, you see that right Texas, here. Alabama, Idaho. CQ Maine. That's what I was doing with Texas. So this guy is calling for Maine. You must need that. California, Tennessee, Texas, Minnesota, Wisconsin, Minnesota, Tennessee. Alabama. Texas. Michigan. Colorado. It looks like it could be clear right in here. 1550. Wisconsin, so California, control, Minnesota, right Idaho, Tennessee, Alabama, Georgia. And we're going to send a CQ. Here we are. California. At five watts. Auto sequence on. Vermont, Nebraska, Utah, California. Oh, nothing going on there. Utah. You can look at the other stations and see how they're receiving you. Try it again later. 73 N7 JFP.